Hello there. I'm back in my own county today in Lincolnshire heading out for what will be the last camp of the year I'll be so we're just gonna do a local one gonna be a quite easy just scouted out some woods I'm gonna meet Dave we've got hammocks we're gonna set up a campfire he's promised me a curry that he's cooking up on the campfire so that'll be quite nice so I'm heading out towards him he's setting off from his house and then we'll meet close to where we plan to pitch up for the night it's a cold one uh, it's not going to be as cold as it has been the last couple of nights but still it's going to about minus two but it's Lincolnshire so we are low level won't be getting any of the white stuff coming down on us pretty sure of that if there is it would be just a tinier we don't get much snow over here This is basically my local walk. I was doing this walk. I've done it so many times now. But it's basically a nice little stroll into the woods. Now you get a bit of hills coming. A bit of variation to the just flat fens of Lincolnshire marshes out by the sea yeah I grew up on the east coast of Lincolnshire nice place to live but these hills in the walls sort of were a distant barrier between the miles and miles of flat and I always wanted to just go up explore them and now 30 odd years later I've been through most of the hills that I could see from my childhood home because <laughs> these are just not even hills to most people but yeah looking forward to getting into the quarry it's going to be a good one about five miles now um just gone through a little town no town village on top of the walls moving across the north edge before heading south just had a little bit where walking next to a main road never the most fun but it's nice just to get into the woods box out some of the sounds because it's not too far away I've uh, layered up because of the cold and regretting how many layers I've started with because I'm quite warm um, should probably stop and you know take a few layers down but it's all right at the minute there are some hills in Lincolnshire not massive not too steep but enough to make this yellow belly out of breath as we come to the end of 2022 it's always that time everyone starts reflecting yeah think about your plans for the year ahead so I'll plug it. I'll do some little things about that. I mean for me this year I've got out a lot more, done some good height, done some good camps, did my first solo one at the start of the year, Angle Tarn. 
my major plan this year was to do the Yorkshire Wolves way. Unfortunately, due to a back injury, I had to pull out. But in the end, I've got out a bit more. And obviously, started filming myself, feeling like some sort of moron talking to no one. Struggling to stay in breath, even on the slightest of hells. <laughs> I mean, I suppose if you want to watch, you can laugh at someone struggling to catch his breath and how long it must take me to get up mountains if this hill is affecting me I mean coming into 2022 my big aim my big goal for the year is the uh, coast to coast I'll make me feel like a true hiker. It's Wayne's Wright's walk, soon to become a national trail. I just can't wait to get to it. Just gotta train myself up. Since I got the uh, COVID, being a bit lazy and it had hit my fitness a bit, but getting myself trained up. I mean, this is part of today. Still got quite a, decent weight on my back myself used to carrying that over a couple of days because I've not done a through hike more than three days yet and we're planning we're looking at 11 11 days we're not overly sure yet but we think that should be doable with a day's break This is where we were looking at camping, but we checked out Google Maps with the uh, sa satellite imagery. So it had been fell back a lot. So basically now the only woods are right next to the road. And farm buildings. <laughs> too far left now come through Rothwell just over two miles left to our final location always nice down here just going through the small chalk hills and valleys of the wolds and battery on my camera is going quick because I think the highest temperature today is two degrees there's no wind so there's no wind chill I mean, it's a lovely walk, not seen many people, I've seen about three people in eight miles, all as you come close to the villages, the rest of Lincolnshire, a bit of undiscovered gem. I mean, it's not got your huge variations and your big mountains but it's lovely still this is what really Lincolnshire is about these gentle chalk hills forming little valleys I believe there's like 27 chalk streams in the area which are a rare ecosystem just coming to where we should be finishing and setting up down in this little misty valley gentle rolling mist over the rolling hills it's got quite a crispy look to it again camera vision camera viewfinder is so small I have no idea if it will pick it up 
all these videos are basically to see what I get when I get home and make the best out of them. That's about the extent of my planning when it comes to this. Hello sheep. They always look at you like, what the hell are you doing out here you idiots? This is our land. Well don't worry, I won't be bothering you. We can live peacefully. Tree running out completely. Didn't really get any shots of us once I was getting it charged. It's got very cold. We just sat by the fire, had a chat. Very nice curry. Boiled up some water a few times. Got plenty of hot drinks down us. Got some of the hand warmers put in. It is about, it's got down to about minus three it says. Been a bit chilly at times, but not too bad. The fire did help keep us warm. Just about to go to sleep. Sunrise at about eight o'clock. Good night. Good morning. Been a bit of a cold night. Comfy, but mostly warm. From about five o'clock, started feeling the cold through from underneath my under blanket and it's just doing the case of curling up and keeping as warm as possible wasn't too bad, just a few shivers every now and then been a good camp have to get some breakfast and packed up and ready to get off now way home. I've got my 10.8 mile walk trek back, same way. It was cold. I didn't get, I don't think I'll have much footage of the actual camp because I didn't take much footage of the actual camp. The battery was depleting rapidly, not charging very fast. And I didn't want to leave the warmth of the fire. But anyway, I've done it, just fell asleep really well, very comfortable, just about 5 o'clock it did just start to really bite on the chill below me, it was fun. If I do make a video, if I've got any footage, I hope you enjoyed it, I did, even though it was bloody blistering cold and it's taken me ages to get packed up this morning. Anyway, I'm putting this to turning this off now and that'll probably be it. But I'll see you in the next one.